Hi, I'm Tasman Opoli, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make an anti-gray hair serum. Now these type of claims are suitable because we can claim that it visibly increases the pigmentation in the hair to reduce the sign of grayness. Now let's get into it. Now I've got all my ingredients here. My star active today I'm gonna to be using is called Grayverse by Lucas Meyer. So this has some really good efficacy that I am gonna show you a bit later in the video. But the goal is we wanna make a nice non-tacky or sticky hair serum that's not gonna clag up on the scalp. We want it to have a really nice skin feel. We don't want it to be greasy and we don't want it to be tacky because it's gonna be in your hair, which wouldn't be desirable. So firstly, I'm gonna to put together my phase A ingredients. I've picked a really nice humectant here. I've chosen to go with propane dial because this is non-tacky. Uh, glycerin can be a little bit sticky and tacky depending on input, so I'm using propane dial today. Now to bring my serum together, I'm gonna to be using some Sepi Max Zen. This will not hydrate straight away. It will need a bit of time, possibly overnight. So we are going to give it a stir to wet the polymer and disperse it. And then we're gonna cover it up and come back to it a bit later. Okay, now that my Seppi Maxen has hydrated, it's formed this really nice clear gel. Now I don't want my serum to be too thick, but also not too runny where it's gonna run out of the hand and make it really messy to apply to the hair. So this here is a really good consistency, viscosity. Okay, so to this, I am gonna add a small input of lipids. So I am gonna choose a light feeling ester. I've chosen to go with Lexafil Natural. This has a nice, light, long spreading feeling. And I'm also just gonna add a little bit of argan oil. This is a really good oil for the hair and it also is really good for product story. So I'm just gonna give that a stir. Now, next is my star ingredient, which is the Grayverse by Lucas Meyer. Okay, so the number and activity of melanocytes in the hair bulb uh, decrease over time. So as you get older, it decreases, which leads to a decline in the melanogenesis process. So how Grayverse works is it increases the melanogenesis. So you can see here in the picture, there is a photo of a hair bulb that is untreated. And then next to it, there's one that has been treated with uh, Grayverse. And you can see that there's about 66% increase in pigmentation there. So really good results there over to some more clinically proven results. And you can see here in the photos, there's been a decrease in hair whiteness by 5.3%, which is pretty good. So there's a, there was a decrease in overall gray hair. So after three months of treatment, which is really good. And then you can see in this other photo here, there was a decrease in gray hair density. So the observation of the top of the head shows a lower quantity of gray hair after three months of treatments. So you can see after one month, there was less white hair by 31%. And after three months, there was less white hair by 64%, which is huge. The hair looks darker. So after three months, there was 57% improvement, which again is really good results. Roots are growing darker. One month, there was 31% improvement. And after three months, there was 50%. And the hair looks healthier. So after one month, there was 63% improvement there, which is fantastic. And after three months, there was a massive 70 1% improvement. So they have really, really awesome results from this uh, clinically proven active. Okay, next I'm gonna add a little bit of Holly Quart 7. Um, this is just gonna make the hair feel nice um, and also give it a nice little conditioning feeling. I'm also gonna add a bit of tocopherol because I've used natural plant oil. So just a little bit of that. And last but not least, I'm also going to add my preservative. Now I'm just going to check and adjust my pH. Okay, now it's the next day and this is what my serum is looking like. Okay. 
As you can see here, it is a nice viscosity here, not too runny, not too thick. Goes on really nice. It doesn't leave a heavy or greasy residue, as you can see here. That's rubbed in really well and no tack or no stickiness. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to make an anti-gray hair serum. Now, please remember the most important thing is that you can make these claims as you can claim that it can visibly improve the pigmentation of the hair by reducing the grayness. Please remember to always be careful when it comes to your claims because cosmetics can only make appearance-based changes without making any reference to skin conditions or broken skin. So always remember that and keep that in mind. We do have a short course on labels and claims if you are interested or need help with your labeling and claims of your products if you're interested please send us an email and we can give you some more information about how to enroll if you enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up leave any questions in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notification on all our videos happy formulating